Okay. Hello. Sorry about that. Apparently, <laughs> when you end a stream, you can't restart it. This is what we're learning today. Uh, so that was awkward. Um, I don't know how to delete YouTube videos either. So we'll learn that today as well. Uh, because there was like a like three second video of me going, fuck. And then I like turned it <laughs> off. So we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah. New, new stream. Hi, everybody. Sorry about that. This is uh, this disaster is known as the Brindwell Cup. Uh, it is a wheel takes uh, created thing monstrosity in which we vote on the definitive hottest characters in the Wheel of Time. I am Allie from Wheel Takes, um, and normally it is just as much of a hot mess as it is, as it is right now. So uh, this is an accurate representation of our brand. Um, but we also have other people with us today. Introduce yourselves. I am tree slash X slash hugger. I <laughs> do art sometimes. Um, I don't know. Aradia, you're up. <laughs> and then there's me. I'm Aradia or Aradiapedia. I'm one half of Lot Spoilers podcast, uh, podcast producer for Fox and Raven Media that makes multiple podcasts, including one with me and Allie. And uh, oh, yeah, that is not here, but yeah, that's. That's me. That's also, so I definitely, so definitely went to the Dark Friend Social Community Bake Sale and got this t-shirt. Also nice. known as Walk. I got it at WatCon. And but I guess I should also mess, like mention like Watchinary too, because like I kind of do that. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. You definitely, definitely do that. You're yeah, on there like all the time. Yeah, like all the time. Yeah, yeah. I, I draw stuff on there all the time. So there's that too. So I'm bad at this, but anyway, hi. I don't think anyone is good at it. Do you know what I mean? Like Aradia I get suspicious. Aradia did crush it, but I feel like I feel like that kind of thing is stuff Aradia is good at. I don't know. I, I feel I, like Aradia is practice involved. Yeah. Is there yeah, is there something I can practice by myself to like get good at doing? I don't know. So I feel like I feel like, yeah, it's always awkward introducing yourself, even if you look like you're crushing it. Am I right, Aradia? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. This is a mask. This is oh, all a constructed mask built of experience and systems. And <laughs> we're masking so great up in the Wheel Takes podcast right now. Hi, Dana. Good Hi, Sue. Hey. Uh, so, yeah, we're here to talk about who definitively is the sexiest character in the Wheel of Time. Tree and Aradia, do you know who won the Grinwall Cup? Because we're going to talk about it today. Yes, I do. You do. I but Tree does I not. Know nothing. I know nothing. I'm coming in completely blind. I have not been hey. following it this year. Mm. All right, so our first poll that we have, because we're looking at the quarter quarterfinals right now, uh, it was called The Strong Bond, and it's Lan and Elaine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's our first poll that we're going to talk about today. Uh, initial thoughts on the two of them. Obviously both hot in different ways. Very different very ways. different ways yeah <laughs> Com couldn't be more different ways yeah I I elaine could never be any any kind of no it's just... women in stem versus men who write poetry yeah they're just like not even in the same uh, yeah they don't <laughs> hang out um <laughs> a lot uh yeah it's like art geeks versus women in stem so yeah, so Lan, initial thoughts about why Lan might be hot to people. He works out. He's got a nice body. He's a protector. Right. Oh, we should make a note that we are not going to talk about show goggles. Any reason why we might find somebody hot is valid except for the show. Not That's because I don't trust you specifically that I am pointing at watching right now. You specifically. <laughs> I trust you and you can keep it cool. I know that. <laughs> Because I know you personally, but everyone else, I don't trust them to not make it weird, and so and not make it creepy. So we're we're yeah. not going to do it. We're not going to do it because oh. one person can ruin it for everyone. But that person is not you, person I'm pointing to specifically. <laughs> so yeah, bland, a nice bod, sword yeah. forms. Yeah, I mean, swords very are hot. Fit. And he rides a horse all the time. Like that's a very difficult and impressive feat. Like I've ridden a horse a few times. It's like stop. So it's know. an athletic. It's an athletic thing to do. Um, he can probably do swords on horses. 
combining two very yeah. hot things. He his his lines about I will hate the man you choose, but I will you know all that stuff. Very nice. It, it beats two letters that directly contradict each other. As huh? literary as literary uh, as literary <laughs> expressions of love. Two letters that directly contradict each other versus I will hate the man you choose because he is not me, but I will love him if he makes you smile. Uh -huh. I mean, that yeah. there's a contest. Yeah. He's definitely the better writer of the two. That's for sure. Because he can really get a point across. Whereas Elaine In one he, sentence. He's back and forth. He's back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> Elaine is like is like that 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 guy in the good place and like early early on where it's just like his book is like huge because he just can never make up his mind it's like that's elaine versus lan lan is like here's yeah. a <laughs> uh, listen every time lan comes up we get questions about whether or not stone faces are hot mm. and i just want to say marble is a kind of stone okay the statue so, of david carved mm -hmm. out of rocks technically yeah. and listen somebody definitely at some point thought he was hot all yeah. right, so well, and see, okay, so here's my thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my geology hat on here because <laughs> rocks are hot. The, the <laughs> rocks right, are well, hot, actually. Like I love the, rocks. There's so many. Cool I love rocks, rocks but like the Just phrase, the like smooth. hard as rock, chiseled from rock, made of rock, feels like rock, hot as rock. Which kind of rock? Are we talking about rock? Are we talking about obsidian? Are we talking about basalt? Are we talking about diorite? Are we talking about about Riley, are we talking about pumice? Are we talking about? I mean, I could go on. Like we need, we need more about? specific. And like, like for somebody who really goes hard on dresses, we need more specificity here from Robert. And I'm assuming that, what that he's talking about. So there's these rocks where I live. So I live in Oregon, Western Oregon. And basically all the rocks around here are old sand dunes that have kind of been folded and faulted. And now they're melting under the pressure of the rain. And it's a whole thing. And there's these sections where the rocks are just like bare open and like people have cut roads into them and they're very craggy and it's really easy to see faces in them, like with big old hooked noses and like super like big brow ridges. Like it's very easy to see faces in the sandstone, specifically the sandstone. And so that's kind of what I think Robert Jordan is describing, but also sandstone formations like that I don't think are super common where he was coming from. Yeah. Like, was he just Google image searching? Because seriously, these, these rocks do look like bases, like trolls and goblins and like all kinds of, it's easy to see them, even without drugs. <laughs> I just assumed that he meant like chiseled. Mm -hmm. You know? Because like, since when does carved out of rock mean a bad thing? I always felt yeah, like rock it's... is good. Rock is rock But then is you're good. pointing rock out like marble. Ads. Like marble is, is a rock that is also carvable whereas sandstone does not super like being carved i mean you can do it but it's it's a whole different animal but then i worry about like what are talking about are we talking about you know like you know old stone face in parks and recreation where they talked about this guy had like a stone quarry explode in his face or whatever and he was called old <laughs> stone face <laughs> Well, that's a whole different kind of stone face. And so I was like, okay, maybe maybe that's what they're thinking of when they're thinking of old stone face. I, I don't know. know. Cuz of the quarry. Nah. Yeah. I, yeah, it sounds like I mean rocks are hot. I mean, that is true. I just I can't believe that we constantly are hearing people debate about whether or not being carved from rock is hot. Like I truly every time it surprises me. I'm like, did we all miss the memo on rocks being hot? Well, it's like do you do you like craggy? Or not, I think is really, and that's really, really to up me, it's to a me. Craggy thing. <laughs> yeah, like so, it's well, like not everyone craggy. likes craggy. I guess I feel like Vigo Mortensen as Aragorn could be like considered a bit craggy. Yes, yeah, huh? he's he's got some what's some plainy, some plainy cheeks going on. Yeah, Sharp what's wrong with some crag? And... I mean, it depends on how. I think also like craggy tends to get accentuated by age. So like the older you are the craggier you are so like depending on what age you want to be attracted to lan at right like that might influence how hot you think he is if you are not supposed to be lusting after a 60 year old then it's going to be a lot less hot than if you are valid tree Maybe. i feel like yeah tree i feel like you're holding back here i like do i feel like you're whole, like biting your lip <laughs> against a hot land take i've never had a crush on land i never was in there we go land, ever 
I knew you were being quiet for a reason. <laughs> and like, sure, there's things to love about everyone, but like, I read Lan, I'm not just like, wow, I bet he's really hot. Like, he's not, I'm not thinking about Lan. Yeah. Should, right. And I'm like, you know what, I need you do you. You got this. I'm just like, yeah, he exists for me. That's about as much as I have thought I've ever put into him. Who is your Wheel of Time crush, Tree, if you were to, like, name one? Okay, so for a long time, it was Perrin. Okay. I like, oh, I like muscle. I like bigger people. I like uh, cuddly, you know, sure. people. Um, <laughs> and the wolfies, like, I love that. So, anyway, um, so he was my crush for a long time. And then it switched to Matt. Oh, interesting. Mm. Would it interest you to know that neither of them made the quarterfinals? Yeah, <laughs> no, I get that. I do. Yeah, you get that? Yeah, I, I feel Lan like... In here. That makes sense to me. Lan is, yes, Lan, Lan, Lan is, is in that here. That also makes sense to me, too. Like, Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's switch over to Elaine. Women in STEM are objectively hot. We all know this. We're all going to just accept that as fact. Um, mm -hmm. I, I love Elaine. I think that for me, uh, I don't blame her for how she is written. <laughs> <laughs> I do. That was some characters. So yeah, I hear yeah, that. I'm like, I don't see it. I don't see it. I see what you could be and what you could be is hot, but I don't see it. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't agree with the way that some of the women are, are written. And so uh, that is, she is one of them for me. Um, you know, I mean, and she's, she's, she, uh, she's clearly hot enough for Avienda to go on multiple monologues about it. Mm -hmm. That is true. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, if Avienda weren't queer before, she was after she saw Elaine. And doesn't is right. that not a testament to her hotness? <sighs> truly, yes. truly. Yeah, like if I had to choose between Lan and Elaine, like I'm just going Elaine. Like, are we done? You're picking Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like enough. We, yeah. I, I already know what I would pick. I well, I mean, <laughs> you can try yeah. to convince me. It's not going to work, but you can try. I think yeah. Lan because Elaine's a little young for me personally, but that's, that's not true. a judgment because I do I feel like I yeah, younger. Like I was a lot younger when I started reading them. So true, and, and I, I think like, a, yeah, yeah, and I think a lot of people right, read these yeah. and they're like, uh, I, I, the, the characters age with me. I think mm -hmm. I've noticed mm -hmm. because some people there was some discourse about Fayil and whether or not Fayil was hot. And of course, we'll get there. And people are like, well, she's, un you know, she's underage. She's a minor. And I was like, I don't think that people are paying attention to that at this moment in time. I think that we have all decided that all of these characters have somehow aged with us. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I actually what was interesting is the younger characters started doing less well after the show came out. So I think that is a moment in which show goggles factored in where we looked at the characters and went, they are not in fact my age <laughs> anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um mm -hmm. and so I think that they they ended up taking a bit of a hit uh the second Grinwell Cup that we noticed where I was like, I think that people watched and were like, ah, they're youths. <laughs> and I feel like we haven't seen how young Fayil is yet. So I, I was like, I don't think we've paid attention to that. I think we forget how old they are sometimes. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For me, like Elaine's tinkering has always been. It's it's why I like Aludra too, you know, oh, like no. just Valid. the need. And like also, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Matt, but it is one of the things I really like about Matt is how much he likes to tinker with things, you know. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Make and sure to keep thing. my keep my spoilers to where you're at. I'm so I glad know. your podcast is past mine. It makes it so easy nice. now. I just have to remember to stay within the realms of what I've podcasted through. I and know. I'm safe. And I'm safe. Yeah. But um, yeah, so Matt. You've read everything, right? Yes. Huh? You've read one. everything, right? Oh, yeah. 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 I yeah. figured, I, I thought so, but I was like, let yeah. me just triple check before I make an assumption. <laughs> yeah. But good. like, Matt. Mm like figured out how to open the ADOM in like a half hour of like fiddling with it and just like goofing around. He figured out the trick for opening it. Like, and Elaine like can't stop fiddling with stuff either. She wants to get her hands on the ADOM. You know, she figures out how to make the fucking Bluetooth ADOM. <laughs> like it's, yeah. uh, She's so smart. you know, I just, yeah. Women in STEM. Smart like, is hot. I studied science. Like, and you know, also the, 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 her brothers are notoriously good looking, 
which would so suggest- she's got to be good looking and her mother's good looking and we all yeah. know that if your mother is good looking you are also good looking that's how yeah, it that's works. that's completely how it works a hundred percent of the time always <laughs> yeah uh never 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 heard of anything different so uh yeah with uh with lan and elaine um I voted for Lan personally. The uh, mm -hmm. poetry did get me. Um, yeah. I let, and I, so if we were all to say who we thought won, well, you two, because I already know, because I have the results <laughs> right here. Uh, <laughs> Tree, who do you think won? Oh, between Thinking Lan and Lan? Twitter of time. Yeah. Mm, probably Lan. Probably Lan. Arady, who do you think won? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like the chaos gremlins were out in force. So I'm going to say Elaine. It's true. There were a lot of people in Elaine's quarter this year in a way that I have never seen before. It was like people were writing for Elaine. However, it's Kevin's it was fault. not enough. Yeah, it was Kevin's fault. fault. It was not <laughs> enough because Elaine pulled it out with 53.8% of the votes. Elaine got 46.2. However, oh. that was a very close wow. vote. It was very close wow. for a long time during the day. So you know, what's and she was in the lead for a significant portion of the day. And then Lan kind of came came up behind her and, and got her. So phrasing. I didn't like the phrasing I used, but <laughs> you know, stand by it. It, it works. Was dead live. <laughs> but so <laughs> so yeah, so he pulled ahead and then stayed ahead. Um so Lan Lan went forward. Elaine, Elaine's first time in the quarterfinals. Mm, which for her. was really That's exciting surprising. yeah yeah i think because like now three people have won like some of those people some of the slots are clearing up for new and interesting challengers to make it to the mm -hmm. end that mm -hmm. was certainly the case for a lot of people this year i think where i was like they've never even gotten this far at all i've never seen them this far this is very exciting mm -hmm. um and i don't know if it, like just the great exodus that happened from twitter is involved or if show goggles are involved or what but it was really interesting and exciting this year um so awesome so then on top of that we've got the quarterfinals round two we love a project both of these women have potentially some kind of problematic love interests that they are working on <laughs> as people so we've got Fayil and Egwene Oh, oh, I cannot. Oh. It was tied for a big part of the day. I will say yeah. that. It was I, that's one that I remember watching. Actually, like, I was intense, intensely invested in that one. Yeah. Of all the challenges. I think that's the one day. I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I can't believe Fayel made it to the end. To the quarterfinals. I know. The She's never made it there. Neither of them have ever made it to the quarterfinals. Yeah, wow. he's not wild. Surprise about Egwene also. Now my thing is for votes on here. We talk about this a lot in the Greenwell Cup. Some of our favorites, every like because if I tried to do an, a completely unproblematic Greenwell Cup, it would be between <laughs> Gall and Loyal every year. Every year would not, not be <laughs> particularly so interesting for Gaul anyone. Because so I'm like, go through everybody. No one is spotless. Okay. We've all got bad behavior. And so I'm like, so for both of these characters, I feel like there's a lot of like bird boxing where you're like, I don't see it. I don't <laughs> see the problems. And this is one of those, again, where it's like, we've got some problems with both of these characters that are completely valid um, that may affect their hotness for you personally. Totally valid. We don't stand any of that behavior. However, we have to choose. So bird boxing it is. Uh, Fayil throws knives. Objectively a hot thing to do. <laughs> Her relationship with Perrin, less hot. <laughs> uh, That's probably why I don't like her. Because I had a crush on Perrin. And I was like, who, who, who are you? You yeah. need to leave Who now. are you to I... behave this way? Yeah. <laughs> But, yeah. but I still don't like for other reasons. However, I feel like parents' weaponized incompetence is something she just runs with. <sighs> yeah. Which, you know, we love a competent queen. If there's one thing we've learned in the mm. Brunwell Cup, it's that competence is hot. And she is competent. Yeah. She throws knives. She's She rides horses. And here, let me just always say what I say about Fayil, her hottest moment for sure. Battle of Two Rivers. <sighs> so hot. Like, she goes and gets those people. A lot. 
for that. I I do forgive a lot for that moment. <laughs> I do forgive a lot for that moment. And I oh and she's I very the double screen thing. Grendel, you're also <laughs> welcome to join. Hey, hey. it's delusions. Hi, friends. <laughs> stay hey. with delusions. Yes, right there. Is you're that, welcome to come that, crash if you want to. Thing. I know you're what working and have a toddler. A dog. Work, perhaps. Okay. We might still be on. We'll see. <laughs> if we are, come hang. I will. But, but so, yeah, so Fayil, uh, you know, definitely some valid critiques <gasps> of Fayil's character and behavior. But I feel like, you know, Battle Ooh. of Two Rips. Ooh, that looks amazing. And? Ooh. Nice. I'm coming to stay. Yes. There's room. There's room. This is a very big <laughs> Apparently. bed. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be on the plane. Give me Perfect. give me a couple minutes. But okay. so, yeah. Uh, I feel like Fayil, and I say this a lot grossly misunderstands what makes her parents' marriage work. Yeah. Yeah. She she sees the outcome and thinks that that is yeah. the same thing as the process. Mm -hmm. She's like, ah, it's the fighting, not the mutual respect. That The fighting is what works. Right. Because like, you see Davram and Dira yeah. and you're like, that doesn't look like Parrot and Fayel at all. Mm -mm. Like, at all, at all. That doesn't not look even like what they're smidge. aiming at. No, not even a smidge do they look the same. I'm mm -hmm. like, my headcanon tree for Davram and Dira is uh, Gomez and Morticia Adams. Do you see that for, do you see that for them though? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. No, I, have high, I was like, if I were to cast this. Yeah, except for Morticia is a lot nicer and less yelly to Gomez. And they're like, when she yells True. at you, that means she loves us. And I'm like, no, I don't no. like that. I don't like that for you guys. I don't, you know, but I'm like, but how is, how is she yelling? Like, is she yelling in a toxic way? Or there are definitely people who are like yelly people. Do you know what I mean? But it's like, sure, they're like, yeah. I love you. And you're like, my God. <laughs> but it's just like, it's like, I feel like you see this a lot in certain communities. Like there's a, there's a yelliness, but it's like sure, not aggressive. Yeah. It's like loving yelling where they just are loud. Yeah. yeah I guess. You know? <laughs> yeah. But Look, yeah. The heck that Fayul gives parent on like the regular basis. Oh. I don't love it. Yeah, I, I don't, don't love like it either. Don't. I don't love it either, but I'm like, uh, and I'm like she learned it from her mama. She's so emotionally available for him, though, when his family dies, which is a lot. Which, yeah. like, mm, that kind of like standing right. by somebody when they're really going through it, being like, "You You're gotta right. process this." I mean, that she was trapped. there for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's one of the most moving moments in the books, really. Yeah, and, and I just like mm. whoa. <laughs> and I think mm -hmm. people forget that she's the reason why he had his moment, you know, right? That he right. was able to kind of pull that out. Yeah, she like, saved no. him like personally and then like saved the whole village, like just and, you know, a few yeah. weeks later. <laughs> and so I'm like, listen, I I think they are they need a marriage counselor, and I think she is our object like th theoretically maybe a little young to be married. But granted. Granted, I feel like every time I say that, people are like, I got married at four and I'm doing great, whatever. That would be me, yes. And I'm like, and I'm like listen, <laughs> there are exceptions to every rule, but everyone I've ever talked to who has gotten what? married, Aradia included, is like, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, no. You, yeah, you That's, a, that's a roll of the dice no one should be doing. Exactly. I just got lucky. That's I'm all. like, I think, I think your brain... It's a, ideally is fully developed when you get married. And last time we were on, Grendel goes, as a divorce attorney, I can tell you for sure that the <laughs> most, like the majority of the people I see got married before 25. Mm. And I'm like, okay, mm. well, so, I mean, granted, well, if you get married before 25, luckily at that point, if they are the wrong person, like all you have to split is like a, your bookshelf. You know, you, what do you have at t before 25 usually to split? So I guess, you know, if you're going to have a mulligan, that's a good time. But, <laughs> but you know, so this Fayil, we got Egwene on the other hand. Egwene. Egwene. I love Egwene. I, I say that, like, my signs are, you know, Matt's son. Uh, uh, what was it? Egwene, Moon, Avienda, Rising. Mm, yeah. <laughs> 
So sure. I identify yeah. a lot yeah. with her tryhardiness. To me, that is not an insult because yeah. I don't think no. there's anything wrong with a woman trying hard. There's yeah. there's a lot of like, what would Egwene do in my self talk? Like like yeah. when I'm trying to be more positive and less of just yeah. like absolutely verbally abusing myself. I'm trying to be like <laughs> just just think like Egwene, just like do what Egwene would do. Yeah. Like bring like Egwene's like synthesis of Aiel and Aes Sedai like. Absolutely. Just, I'm very bad at it, but like she is the one I look up to of all the characters. Yeah. Egwene is the one that I like attempt to emulate in my life. Right. When life gives you lemons, what would what would Egwene do? W W E D. <laughs> Wed. Should we start? Wed. Wed. Should we start passing those out at Jordan Con? Quadruple yeah. U E D. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like Love that. She's, <laughs> okay. I'm okay. really excited about my Jordan Con ribbons this year, by the way, if they arrive in time. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm really excited about them. But so, and I hopefully ordered enough for WatCon too. So, mm. but yeah, I, Egwene becomes the Armorlin hot, objectively. Mm -hmm. hot. Objectively, yes. She's very powerful, yeah. hot. Uh, she uh, clearly has, has some level of as the children say, Riz, because lots of boys <laughs> fall for her. She's got this is true. that Riz. This is true. Uh, and so, yes, does she always have the best taste in men? My answer is no, D definitively. Well, you haven't finished mind. the end of the books. Okay. You never know. She true. could turn a corner. Or I guess Gowan could get a a completely different personality. Well, I mean, let's not be unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen, except for maybe that. But who and knows? Yeah. Maybe. yeah. <laughs> and she's a survivor, as someone pointed out. She's, you know, she has a lot of tough stuff happen to her. And we have learned in the cup that resilience is super hot. Mm -hmm. um, no, yeah, her strength so is really yeah. hot. Yeah. So, you know, I... And Marin, I find very hot. So I'm like, okay, like mother, like daughter, hopefully. Um, sure, sure. So, you know, and I love that she goes on frequent study abroad. She is cultured. <laughs> Maybe one of them more, you know, willingly than others. Uh, but... Yes, that's true. <laughs> one was like a weirdly mandatory and yeah, intense worst study abroad. study abroad ever, I think so, someone uh, called it. I, Maybe. I believe I may have called it the worst study abroad of all time. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. It was not great. So, and as we saw in the show, it was not great. True, mm -hmm. truly. But and like the strength that the show showed us felt very true to the books, even though we're not doing show goggles for like the actors. Yeah. Like the writing of that, we can was talk like, about. Well, the you event. captured the thing that makes her so incredible. Like that, she mm -hmm. is capturing the strength that. Like, yeah, that's that's much later book. Like, that's the thing I love about the show is when I see bits of the later books. I'm like, right. oh, yeah. that, like, that character she, is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're there. Yeah, we're, there. we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they know where they're going with her and they they're going to show us little bits yeah. of that potential now. And it's just it's just so inspiring to see someone that's strong. It's like, how how yeah. how can anyone? And then she does. Like, yeah. Okay. All right. And it's that's like, you know what? The, don't ever underestimate people. You know, like people can get through some wild shit and come out the other side. And she's a, she's just the poster child for that. Like I mean, she's, she's also just... not processing her trauma. Like we've also, you know, no. still need a fourth age therapy Aja to get invented That's right quick, specifically for her. Aradia, women's trauma doesn't exist. And we know that. <laughs> I'm cured. <laughs> In the book, trauma Aja be. Oh, we've said this many times on Wheel Takes that they need a therapy Aja immediately, and we feel like lavender is available and would be appropriate. We also feel that a, a an HR Aja would be really good, mm. and they would definitely be like the, beige. The whites, actually, gray is probably the HR Aja above all of them. I'm like we. There's too many of them. Like they, we, we need, we need logic and knowledge. We can't have them just be together. I just, I'm like combine mm -hmm. some, and then we have some room for some more maybe necessary ones like the PR. Or we could even rope that into uh, like the the diplomats. Yeah, 
Totally. Yeah. Uh, whatever this is approved. Zoom approves. Streamyard approves. Whatever. Uh, and then we've got yeah. And then we could we could rope the mental health into the healing Aja, and then we've got yeah, it. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. I'm like, We're where where is this? Where Mind is the body connection. Health? Come on. But yeah, Egwene yeah. is just object. Like I don't. Mm, Egwene's amazing. And, Egwene's, yeah. and she does more than just survive. You know, she like adapts really quickly like that's not just this the traveling part of the studying abroad but she adapts to the cultures that she's in she adapts to the yep. most high levels of eyes to die fuckery as easily as she adapted to just being a wise one's apprentice like uh, yeah i feel like for her we see cultural appreciation not cultural appropriation mm -hmm. and i feel like that's really important totally. to me mm -hmm. yeah so everything yeah and she commits hot. what everything about the is hot yes agreed <laughs> Uh, so if you all were to say, so you two sound like your team, Egwene. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't talk myself into, I don't remember how I voted, but that's what I am now. Like, I can't I remember like, how I voted. Like, Bail <laughs> has great traits as you brought up. Like my dislike for her is probably unwarranted and a much deeper thing that I should probably work on, but <laughs> Today what I'm is the Greenwell like... Cup for? <laughs> what is the Greenwell Cup for? If not ha like having us have to have conversations with our therapist on Monday. Do you know what I mean? Jealousy in there. I'm like, no, I don't like her. I don't like her. Mm. Yeah, like, <laughs> she's great. She's got good qualities. Like whatever. Nope. So, <laughs> folks, it did not fall that way though. Egwene did actually lose. I assumed she was oh. going to win. I assumed she was wow. going to snatch it. Yeah, I was shocked. Wow. But it was very close. Which is why I think I voted for Fayil because I think Egwene was doing really well. And I was like, well, mm -hmm. I feel like Fayil should get some votes. And then Fayil won. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I should never assume ever that, you know, just because that's what it says at 11 in the morning, it means that's how it's going to end. So Fayil got 51.4% of the votes and Egwene got 48.6%. Oh, so wow. It was wild close and that it was high like nose. all day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> by a that's note. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, yeah. That's the one I was super invested in because it was just like it was going back and forth, back and, back and, back and forth. forth, back and forth. Like, oh, my it God. was pretty wild. It was pretty wild. So that was a that was a fun day. I'm liking. I was really excited about the fact that all of the quarterfinals were very close. Um, yeah, that's a good matchup. That means you did some good, a good job with the matchups. Mm -hmm. Someone did a good yeah, job someone. with the matchup, though. I did not necessarily expect all of these people to be in the quarterfinals. Um, mm -hmm. I did not see some of these coming. Like I thought Rourke would be in the lane, and I thought we were going to have a land Rourke quarterfinal, mm -hmm. which uh, I thought would have been interesting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like against like, <laughs> yeah. So I didn't see that coming, or I didn't see Fayil making it this far either. I thought she'd go down. I think I thought she was doomed from the beginning, but she beat out like Swan and Morgays, I think, in her initial heat, which I did not see coming because I thought for sure the Swarain fans were going to get Swan mm -hmm. moving forward. So that was shocking. So we've got some shockers. All right, next we've got. Round three, along for the ride. Now, these are people that I feel like kind of get like pulled into adventures, mm. which is why they're in this category, is why I named this category that. So we've got Gaul versus Liana. Oh, nice. That's now, here's good. the thing. I have had people say. <laughs> I'm out. I had people saying, <laughs> oh, like side characters can't possibly make it far. And I was like. They make it far every year. Aludra always goes far. Mm -hmm. Liana always goes far. Gaul usually does well. Though this is Gaul's first time in the quarterfinals. It's not Liana's, mm -hmm. but it is Gaul's first time. But he oh. tends to do at least pretty well. Um, though this year he had more support than I've ever seen. Like people were really team Gaul this year in a way where I was like, what is that about? It's the wheel takes goggles. It might he's, be because we're obsessed and, with him. And Todd. I'd say Todd draws also contributed quite Todd, a bit. Yeah, Todd did wake people <laughs> up to how great Gaul is, I think. So thank you, Todd. But yeah, so we were pretty surprised uh, at yeah a lot of these rounds. But yeah, Gaul versus Liana, which I thought was going to be a Liana shutout. 
Right? Sure. I was okay. like, Gal, Gal had like I literally said, oh, it's Gal versus Liana, and Gus goes, well, he, he had a great run. You know, and right, I went, right, yeah, right. yeah, he had a great run. This might be a boring round. It was not. It was surprisingly not. Like Gaul actually hung in there and it was, again, another close vote. So I was, it was a 5% difference, I think. Wow. Yeah, 5% difference. Yeah, and there's such really different good. characters, too. Because like Gaul yeah. is just so steady, whereas Liana, she changes, right? right. Like they're Like they have such divergent kinds of arcs because of that it's an interesting pair tree you had you said you were gonna quit so what are your feelings oh gosh i don't know okay so at first i was leaning more towards gall and then when i thought about it for like 30 seconds i was like no i'm i'm here for liana like i love liana gall kind of i was like more i think about gall he's just seems like this creepy obsessive male figure that I'm just like all he talks about is yeah so explain no explain explain <laughs> just I'm calling not him angry. another like I'm the first sorry. arrow yeah. like what? Well, I'm the worst because I cannot remember whether it's Bain or Chiad that he's obsessed with Chiad. So, Chiad so all he talks about is Chiad all the time I'm just like do you have another personality do you have like other interests like Parent. Who are you as a person? So I'm like, I haven't really and stabbing things. And like once again, it's been a while. So there probably is some more like meat in there that I can't remember. But like all I can remember is his obsession with this girl. He's like, but I wish the other one wasn't there so I could just get her alone and just so anyway, Liana has much more story. Like I like her more, like I like her like loyalty. I just Yeah. yeah. I, like I think it. yeah, I I think Gaul, there's a case to be made for the loyalty to Paris. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she has more of a personality, I think. Like, she's got other interests. Like, she's not just yeah. obsessed with this one girl. Yeah. You can't have unless this other girl's invited, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I blame, and this is my bird boxing for sure. I blame that on culture. And yeah, he's just a victim of culture. Um, but, no, totally. I mean, that was definitely brought up in the uh, qualifying round as well. People were like, he's a little all up in Chiad's business and it's kind of like marry me and give up the spear or, you know, yeah. don't, like, or no. we're not going to be involved. And people did not like that necessarily. I don't like him being like, you should change this thing that makes you really happy that you've worked for your whole life so that we could be together because I love you. I'm like, ew, no. Go <laughs> You know, and, and I, I totally see and get that. I think for me, I'm like, I think they're all just victims of their culture because for me, I'm like, why do the maidens have to give up the spear when they get married? Oh my God. I think that's so... bullshit. Cause Gaul doesn't have to like, that's crap, <laughs> but that's my issue with the Aiel in general is I'm like, that's almost, crap. It's but it's like guys, even in our day and age, we're just like, I can still be a businessman, but you can't be a businesswoman anymore because you gotta stay home and have kids, but I can still keep working, but you gotta do this mm -hmm. now. Uh -huh. like, no, yeah, exactly. It. It's just that, but like the spirit made another spirit thing. It's just like, no, I don't like it. Yeah, Go I think home. that's why it bothers women a lot. It's like Yeah, I definitely yeah. vote like with with Gaul. I'm not thinking about that. I'm I'm just focusing on the part where he's just a human dog companion to Perrin True. that just like it's almost kind of creepy in that room when you said creepy at first I was like yeah the way he just sort of follows Perrin around is kind of like how Aram follows him around that's a little creepy uh, yeah but Gaul isn't like also frothing at the mouth you know like yeah, I, he has, I, he has a I mean quality you know <laughs> but I'm like okay Gaul can jump really high he's really funny he says funny stuff like he tells <laughs> jokes he's got jokes yeah, he jumped really jump high over, over there. there. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a quality. Like, I find him attractive. I'm just like, I, I, I think Gus and I both were like, but Liana is Liana. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I'm not faulting anyone for thinking yeah. Gaul is attractive because listen, the Aiel are an attractive people, and that's just a fact. Yeah. Like, they're tall, they're muscular, they can run for a very long time. They are athletic. They can do. They do spears. Spears are objectively attractive. Um, they've got codes that they could maybe break for you, which we've always determined tree is attractive. If somebody's like, I break my like my code for you, 
Mm. You know, like they love you so much that they're going to throw some morals out the window. Not like important ones, you know, Just but like ones something that small, that like I right. walk on grass when the sign said don't. Yeah. Because yeah, like right, you yeah. needed me to get there quickly. <laughs> like, see, that's attractive, <laughs> you know, that's and adorable. I feel like God would totally walk on grass for you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like he would, he would do there it. He would break some rules. There was this, listen, as someone who's married to a freaking Boy Scout, okay, who's like, I won't okay, yeah. break rules, mm, there's yeah. a quality mm -hmm. where I'm like, maybe he break the rule Ooh. for me, though. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. maybe he loves me so much that he would break a rule for me. But so, yeah, uh, so there's that. But then there's Liana. And, like, let's talk about Liana. Liana's objectively hot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> We yeah, just yeah, hot, yes. There are people Extremely. trying to argue. They're like Liana's forgettable. I'm like, to whom? To whom? To whomst? To whomst? Please <laughs> clarify who Liana's forgettable to, because certainly not to me. Because I'm like one resilience, attractive. We all know this, uh, but like the ability. <laughs> No. The ability to just like have shit thrown at you that is not your fault. Not once does she look at Swan and go, This is your fault, which she totally could have done. Instead, she's like, Oh, you know what? I'm entering my hot period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Very like, hot. Your midlife crisis, my midlife crisis. It's fine. Yeah. We're just, <laughs> we're going with this. We're going to just roll with the punches. We're going to keep going. She frequently reduces men to like mm -hmm. wordless. I love she's, she's the one that just went and picked someone up and just moved them, right? Oh no, she picked Perrin her, did that. Perrin did that. Perrin did that oh, too. I Marilyn. did not love that moment for Perrin, by the way, when that happened. I was like, yeah. I don't. I'm like, no, Liana doesn't need that because Liana just like puts her fingers on their wrists and then they just get led away, easy as pie. Yeah, like, that's like, the yeah. power of Liana. Yes, the the allure. I thought the she fact did that, that men too, are tongue tied around her and women. I think they make a point of saying that even women. A tongue tied around Liana. Yeah, uh, I would absolutely be for sure. Yes, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. her. It's like sh it's her comeback. Like she, yeah, she is hot. She, objective. She goes from being like a model student, like an absolutely perfect, like A plus employee of the month, like Boy Scout, like kind of person, to just being like, fuck it. Like I brushed way too close to death. This is now my YOLO era. Like I am just living my life the way that I want to live it because like I almost died and that was the worst. And I'm just, no, like being a goody two shoes did not, did not pay off. Like mm -mm, I'm changing. I just yes. everything. <laughs> we love a pivot. We love the ability love to pivot it. with new information. <laughs> Flexibility is hot. We mm -hmm. know this. Yeah. Um, so who do we think won? Oh, God. Liana. Oh, yeah. I, like, I want Liana, but it's probably going to be Gaul. I'm going Gaul. God, no, I think Liana. I think Liana. I mean, I love you all. I love this community so much, like, more than I can put into words, but might be mad at you a little bit for this one, guys. We'll see. <laughs> this is what Allie does. She we'll makes us, you have very confused feelings. Yeah. You are. <laughs> thing. It's okay. I'll let that one slide. We'll but this happens. this this would be on site for you with the Twitter of Time community. Mm -hmm. Luckily, Tree, you do not have to be mad at the Wheel of Time community because Liana did beat Gaul 52.7% to 47.3. Wow. But it was still very a close thrilling. one though. That's, it was still, still close. close. I was amazed. Yeah, but people love the people love Gaul. I was like, wow, okay. People and love obsessed. He did boy. well. Hey, now we know. It's, hey, it's you know what? He's such a good jumper. If they're obsessed with you in like a good way, do you know what no. I mean? No. Nope. Okay. Not <laughs> hearing me out on that one. Okay. Nope. <laughs> this one got me a lot of how dare yous. Uh, and mm -hmm. I'm happy about it. Uh, God, there's more. It's qualify quarterfinals round four. Oh, God. This girl Weird. is on fire, is what <laughs> I called it. It's Lanfear versus Aludra. Girls that make things go boom in STEM. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I was I said STEM. after STEM versus Steamy. I was mad <laughs> that you said that earlier because I was like, I sometimes I will be watching people talking about the round before I post it 
And I'm like, maybe someone will have a good title for me because I don't always feel like coming up with a new thing to say. But yeah, so Landfair versus Aludra. People were mad about this mm. one. Obviously, yep. it was close. Uh, they they went a little bit back and forth all day. Yeah, no, they did go back and forth all day. I think it got tied up a couple times. Um, people were mad at me. And I accept that. Mm. Because I am nourished by your hatred. And no, this I one's easy. One's easy. Yeah. So one's Tree, easy. who do you feel? Um, Elutra. Yeah. Explain. Same thing. Obsessive human being. Obsessed with this person. I'm just like, it's why? Even though like the bad the bad person is kind of hot. Like the badness. But the obsessed is not so hot. I'm like, ew. So we're so learning that Tree that. is not into obsessive. Uh, yes. relationships. Uh, Tree needs independence. <laughs> Tree needs you to have a personality that is not yes. all about Tree. I feel I feel that. I feel that for you. You're like, I need them to not be codependent. Yeah. Yeah. It's codependence is a no admirable. for Tree. No, it's a no. Um, <laughs> I, on the other hand, need them to be completely codependent. <laughs> all right. Well, we're learning all kinds of we're stuff. We're learning all kinds of stuff. Uh, no, uh, no uh, I, yeah. Yeah. The part where they're both engineers basically is, yeah. is really it's they start out so great so you kind of like imagine like well could a Ludra like go as bad as Lanfear maybe possibly like is that yeah. is there a future where that happened but like I just big bada boom like come on come on fireworks yeah it and, literally and like, makes it's, fireworks and I one of the things that I really really like in my fantasy books is finding the people who don't have magic who manage to keep up with the magic people anyway mm -hmm. who manage to have through their brains through their wit through their learning something they have something that levels them up to being parallel to the magic users mm -hmm. because they're the more believable character i love finding those characters because they're kind of rare it's hard to like power up someone who's not magic when having magic people is the whole reason you decide to write a book or whatever uh but Aludra with 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 the fireworks become artillery thought is yeah she's she's leveling the playing field she's with really the power hard. of her brain alone yeah brain That's power hot. is hot we know brain power is hot and, and she, i am a sapiosexual <laughs> she's got her own list she got her own thing she got her own goals like i like it yeah she's she doesn't need no man with mature woman goals she doesn't need um, no man. She does make no. out with Matt a couple times, but otherwise I mean, she's kind of fine, hanging out with that's her yeah. son. Yeah. 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 And yeah, then we just, got just has with Matt. <laughs> Listen, I thought this was Lanfear's year. Like it was Lanfear's to lose after what we saw from season two. Hmm. So spoiler alley. Mm -hmm. Did she, did she win? I, this <laughs> is what I thought, whether or not she won. I'll announce in a minute, but I thought this was Lanfears to lose because I thought everyone was going to, regardless of whether or not they told me about it, think about Natasha. Sure, sure. And her exploding things. Which not allowed. Well, I mean, you can vote how you vote in your heart. Just don't talk about it. But like would understand a little bit about the show goggles on this one because i mean listen yes but lanfear is also canonically the hottest woman and listen did we start this cup in large part because i'm like That's i don't part. believe that there is an objectively hottest person in the world i just don't believe it i think that there are some people that have more of a consensus but there is a lid for every pot Everyone mm -hmm. likes something different, right? And I, that's why I love doing the cup because the arguments are so wide reaching. Like a tree, tree doesn't like codependent. That's not necessarily <laughs> a, a no factor for everyone, right? <laughs> so, you know, I mean, so I love it. Lanfear is objectively, according to Robert Jordan, the hottest person in the universe. Everyone agrees on that about her. Now, and apparently hottest regular woman is Barrelane, and apparently hottest regular man is Gallad. I just don't necessarily agree with that. Gallad has already been bumped out of the Grinwell Cup, so he didn't beat 
somebody. I don't even remember who he didn't beat. Now like, who's not memorable? Did Liana beat him? <laughs> yeah. Aludra beat him. So Aludra yeah, beat that, Gallus. That, yeah. That makes sense. That's so, easy. So, yeah. Yeah. But it's I a gun against a dagger. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't want Landfear to just walk to the end. So I put her up against Aludra. Um, but and I, she beat the Landfear beat Nynaeve last round. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't love so, it. So yeah, I mean, all right. So who do you all think won this bracket? Aludra. Yeah, Aludra. It's gotta be Aludra. It's gotta be Aludra. Unfortunately, no, Aludra oh, did not so beat Landveer. Disappointed. Not in enough to beat Landveer. I agree. 51% I think, of you are wrong. <laughs> well, okay, but 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 it was Landveer's year. Objectively, <laughs> that's, that's a that's difficult. True. I feel that's like any true. other a side year, character versus someone who had Natasha playing her. I mean, I mean this was rough. yeah, Perfect. this was the le- year of Landveer, the Landfear, if we will. Land. So <laughs> I just fear. feel like, yeah, we we all we all feared the land fear this year in the best way possible. Well, and so, I mean, she set so much shit on fire, like objectively hot, objectively hot. It's so you know, I mean, a lot of people were like, "Come on, it's land fear," but Aludra still held in there. It was very close, fifty two point six percent versus forty seven point four. Wow. Damn, Aludra I know these rounds good. have been freaking killing. And that was our final quarterfinals round that takes us to the oh, semifinals. <laughs> so these are just wow. two rounds. The first semifinals was Be My Mandarb. <laughs> and that was <laughs> Land versus Fail. Oh my God. <laughs> because so both of them God. at some point. That's have a good title. Okay. That's just, I, mm. I did steal a little bit of that. Like I, I stole the concept from Discord. But uh, kind of changed the title to fit what I wanted it to be. But someone pointed out that they were both Mandarb, like had a Mandarb connection. So I was Mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, great. I've got the connection. Now I just have to come up with a punny title. Because sometimes some of these characters, I'm like, they never interact. (laughs) Right. They're never on screen together. Like they have nothing in common. We got to figure it out. So yeah, Land versus Fayil. Mm. I mean, about those are just I'm thinking to like their first meetings like when Lana's like ready to like throw her out on her ass or cut her throat depending on what Maureen says you know and just like they're just oh yeah I forgot that that happened yeah like er, when met. she's calling herself Mandarb still basically like mm-hmm. way back like before parents yeah. even like blown the Dragon Reborn cover like there, there's these interactions between Lan and Fail, and I'm just like playing those back, just like yeah, they're they're both sharp. They're both dangerous and sharp in in a sort of interesting way. Um, the one of them is much more mature, it's and true. the one of them, I mean, Lan's a little bit obsessed with dying in the blight, which is kind of like being obsessed with a person like Fael is, but it's like true. you know, and I'm like, if you're gonna be obsessed with something, at least let it be me and not dying. Yeah, like yourself. can you be codependent with nihilism? I don't know, but like, <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely, you can. As someone who knew a lot of moody boys, definitely, you can. Yeah, actually, I'm like saying that like that's literally uh, describing me. I'm like attacking myself right now. Okay. <laughs> Can you be codependent with a philosophy? I say yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But you know, Lan is broody and we love broody boys. Everyone loves a broody boy. But it was interesting because it was like Logan did not do as well as he normally does this year, which I think might be slightly wheel takes goggles because of what we just read, but mm, which mm. he's, you know, not in the hottest place in the world, but <laughs> not doing the hottest things. Um, but yeah, so you got Lan. Uh, he's largely an unproblematic broody boy who writes poetry. And that was a lot of people. What a lot of people pointed to was the poetry. So we love a word Smith. Yeah, I bet Fayil writes shit poetry. I bet she's never tried and it would be bad. You know what, though? But she's got the fan dance going for her. 
Mm. Uh, she's got to have something she's bad at, and I bet it's poetry. <laughs> Possibly. They she has to be bad at something. She, it's, she's got to be bad She at has to. <laughs> I feel like she's maybe not the best cook either. Because, like, why sure. would she need to learn? Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, she's competent. They're both competent. Yes, and very are. loyal to their people. Have, like, a slightly problematic view toward uh, a kind of violence. They're both good in a fight. I mean, they're both, they're good both great in a fight. Weapons. Yeah. Um, with horses. So they're both athletic. They both are royalty. True. True. So they've got, they both got a lot going for them. Borderlanders. Who do we I mean, think? Yeah, they're both Borderlanders. So they both come from the same place. Oh, God. <laughs> what do we think? It tree, well, the tree looks conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is broken. Like, I can, the hamster has fallen off the wheel. <laughs> I have no idea what is happening right now. I don't know. Just you don't gonna... know. You're like, I would not pick either of these people. Is that what's happening to you? Yeah. Or... <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fuck. Like, I want to pick Fayil. And that is conflicting for me. The and I also love is designed like, to hurt I you. I love like, <laughs> how that's oh, dark friends. Dark friends. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would just skip this one this is one i would just scroll past on the twitter poll no i'm a, such a completionist i have to vote I, I, all I, right well I then you vote. vote aradia um who, yeah, who would you pick uh, but who do you think twitter time picked also well i mean i think i would probably pick fail because she's just closer to me in age and just more relatable. Like Lan is just such a like Aragorn father figure because of when I You're found saying the book that like that's that a bad like... sentence. And that is not a bad sentence. No, that's how it's, I feel too. It's he's like, he's like frozen in that. amber the way I first yeah. met him, which is way before I had any kind of sexual awakenings. And he's just like frozen in and I just I don't know. Fayil is have we seen this man open a door before? Like, I feel like that would really impact the decision making. Well, I mean, because I'm like, Aragorn is objectively attractive. What are we talking about? No, it's it's not that. It's just the like the age gap. There's sure. just like, I, I just age. No, Aragorn is objectively hot. I'm just saying, like, there's my there's there's the kids and then there's the responsible adults and yeah. he just in my mind is too much of a responsible adult when there is objectively a classmate right there right it could be it's having a watching <laughs> it's watching uh twilight for jacob and edward and then you graduate to watching it for bella's dad or have we reached that phase at all <laughs> <laughs> I no, only survived I, through the first movie. I, so. I, I <laughs> implore you to watch some uh, some Charlie Swan action. See, now, this is my problem with this, is that when I was growing up, my dad looks a lot like Aragorn. Like he does, and like all of my friends, when they see him, be like, your dad looks like Aragorn. And That's like, a major problem. <laughs> that is a bad you know, makes sense. Anybody enough. who's like Aragorn-esque, I'm like, like no, like immediately no. It's like yeah, you could have some great qualities. You could be stoic. You could be brave and be there for everyone and be smart and write poetry. But I'm like, that's my dad. No, no, no. Mm. That's very mm -hmm. valid and very healthy. Yeah. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Objectively, yeah. it makes me like so, you more. <laughs> my dad actually looks it. weirdly like King Theoden but, from Lord of the Rings. So like, but between we've just got to find more cast members' dads. Oh my I got god, dad edition because of that, and I hate it, but that's what I got to do. Mm. So yeah, <laughs> <sighs> I'm not. That's that's so funny, but I'm not going to even put that on here because I don't yeah, want to sure. star tree for life. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> I'm just gonna eat my stew now. So, <laughs> so it looks like we're leading toward Fayil. Uh Land took this one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sixty point five percent to thirty nine point five. So he actually bodied Vail a little I'm bit. I'm really glad. Wow. That, I'm really wow. glad that that happened. We're all I happy for your dad it. tree. We're yeah. all happy for him. I'm happy I didn't have any part in this, and it still wow. happened. And it no, still no. happened. 
Yeah. And then that took us to the semifinals round two. Let's get skintimate. <laughs> uh, we have Liana versus Lanfear. Uh, these titles, man. These titles. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh. So I actually, I came up with that title because back in the day, there was some like shade, like I think it was Venus had a like skintimate or appleberry crunch or something like that, where it was like, that was the pun with skintimate. And so I stole that pun actually, but mm -hmm. for me, like, I think it was like <clears throat> early 2000s. I, for some reason, some commercials just live in your head rent free. Like, I don't know why that one has never left my brain. I remember everything about it, it was like a woman's leg and it was like, uh, like perfect. And then it was like, it went into a, um, like nightclub setting and all of a sudden all the band-aids on her legs glow glowed in the dark. And so then you could see like all the band-aids and it was mm. like, oh, so like, that's what happens when you don't have, uh, Venus. Mm. Anyway, it worked on me. I still remember it to this day. <laughs> That's but yes, very vivid. <laughs> it was good marketing, apparently, mm -hmm. because I feel like the the uh, commercials from our childhoods live on in our brains somehow. Like it, oh, yeah. they did something oh. to us. So Liana versus Landfear. I was very excited by this poll when I knew it was coming. Because I didn't want Lanfear to walk to the end. I really didn't. I wanted her to go up against some some muscle. Because I was like, again, this is Lanfear's to lose this year. So if she loses, like that is on her. That is not me going like, I'm just going to let her walk to the end. But yeah. And then I realized too that after when I entered this, because it was two L's and then Lan has already made it through. I was like, mm -hmm. regardless of what happens. Because Aludra, uh, no, Avienda... Bergita and Berylane are our previous three winners. Our winners all in order. Their initial spell ABBL. <laughs> and it made me happy. <laughs> I'm sure this means funny. something, but I don't know what it is. It's a Brazilian butt lift. It's a butt enhancement procedure. Oh. Yeah, BBL is, is a thing people get. You to make their bad booties bigger. And then mm. on random podcasts that I hear about. Yes. <laughs> So, I'm very, so I was very excited. I need it the just opposite feels... of whatever that is. <laughs> oh, exercise. That's what that is. I don't know. Yeah, Some people just that. have those big butts and they cannot lie. You know what I mean? And that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's bodies are beautiful that's and true. whatever. So, but we, but speaking of beautiful bodies, we got Liana, we got Lanfear. Obviously, we've talked about both of them at this point, but, you know, we haven't talked about them next to each other. So Who putting them next to each doing? other is like opposite, right? Because you've got ultimate codependency and you've got ultimate independency, right? You've mm -hmm. got like these two, like one woman has decided to make her life completely about a man. And the other woman has decided to make her life completely about however many men she feels like. Just Which valid and, and probably some her. women too. I'm head candidating that she decides to go fully bisexual and RJ just refused to show us anything. But Agreed. Agreed 100%. Has, like, 1000%. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, like, they're just so different. Like, these are not at all parallels. Like, they are... Like, Liana would never be all codependent and, like, hung up on what happened 3,000 years ago. She is about tomorrow. You know? Yeah. She forgets about it. Yeah. She forgets about it the next day. Like, yeah. one sleep and she's good. Um, But Lanfear, I mean... Reduce they both reduce everyone to mush, both sure. of them. So, you know, I mean, Liana, I think there's more skill involved, which I guess you could say is either a testament to her or a detraction because she does have to be skilled. now. Skills is hot, skills, skills are hot. hot. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, here's the thing about Lanfear, too, she's one of the more capable forsaken women, I think, because she's one of the few that manages to get anywhere close to Rand. Like, he is fooled by her. More than once. More than once. I also think it was iconic of her, again, I will say this again, even though I've said it before, that she goes, I have a secret. I, this isn't my true form. And of course, my thought process, again, was, is she a snake person? 
Like, <laughs> is she like just a bunch of snakes? Like, what is going on? <laughs> and then she goes, I'm a little older and a little hotter. And I'm like, ma'am. <laughs> my true form. Ma'am, is... please. Me. Like, my <laughs> idea of true form is like, I'm just fire. <laughs> right. Or like, I'm actually like dead. Yeah. Or... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a mummy person. It's like, yeah, exactly. I was expecting like some kind of ridiculous song and dance where she's like actually a dragon or something and it's like i'm actually just a little older and yeah, a little, little hotter. hotter and i just i guffawed <laughs> so she gave me that and i can't let that go sure, sure but i assumed fair. she was going to absolutely like i thought i mean i thought it'd be close but i thought she'd emerge victorious whether or not she did i was pretty confident in her ability to win this one and get to the end, I was anticipating a land land fear final after that posting would be this so poll. Funny. It would land have been funny. Fear. And I was gonna call it <laughs> Battle of the Lands. Of course. And then I was like, well, she'll kill him. And then we'll have Land Fear as our first evil member of the uh that I know of. Maybe Avienda takes a turn, but I don't think so. But she'd be our first villain in the Heroes of the Horny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what I assumed was going to happen do we think I was right no no, no. I think Brianna's resilience pulled through Tree what do you think I don't know <laughs> if you had to say I think you were wrong you think I was wrong and that Liana pulled it out yes would you have voted for Liana I think so yeah. right yeah yes and Aradia you yeah. would have voted for oh, Liana yeah. Well, yeah, Absolutely. and uh, and everyone agreed with you because Liana Yay. did win. She got fifty two point nine percent of the vote versus oh, Lanfear's forty seven point one. Close. It was close, still so close. So far, the like biggest vote difference has been Land versus Fayil. Wow, because uh, they're very different. I think. But you know, like they they was still decently close. Like there hasn't been a big shutout in the quarterfinals and semifinals, and now we get to the finals. Wow. Which the is final. also very close. Yeah, the final. And our winner of the Grinwell Cup. It was called Ride or Die. Oh. And it is Lan versus Liana. Oh, I hate wow. it. <laughs> yeah, they're just so, they have so many admirable qualities, both of them. They're so strong. They're so like stoic in the in the name of the blue eyes to die that they swore themselves to however many decades ago oh like, yeah that's true they both mm. did do that uh uh Rady, i know you like some statistics mm -hmm. tree i'm assuming you also like statistics we're all nerds yeah, yeah we're all nerds so statistics. you know the oh. lore is this is liana's first time ever in the final bracket wow she's made it to the semis but she's never made it to the finals uh, Lan has been in the finals before. He last year had the distinction of being the first man in the finals ever. Oh, wow. Uh, but he lost. And if he were to lose this bracket, he would be our first two time final loser. Ooh. Uh, he is not, however, the first person to be in the finals twice. That honor goes to Barrelane. Oh, mm. interesting. Uh, previous final matchups have been Avienda versus Nynaeve. Avienda won. Oof. Birgitta versus Berylane. Birgitta won. Berylane versus Lan. Berylane won. Mm. And mm -hmm. last thing, if Lan wins this year, he will be the first man ever in the Heroes of the Hornet. Wow. So men are the fourth oh. hottest. That's what we're learning is of and, all the hot yeah, people in the world, and don't start until the fourth. That, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Because so I mean, like, yeah, women. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, like, you know, not to start any kind of discourse, but like, I think that the women for a lot of the ire that they can get from the fandom in a way that I'm always like, what is that about? <laughs> And uh, but I do feel like they are also equally inspiring of a lot of passion of a different kind. Right. Like people feel very passionate about some of these women in a way that was interesting 
to me. Um, so, you know, I think, you know, either way, I mean, Liana's first time in the finals, she has the potential to just go all the way or, and after having body land fear, which surprised me, um, versus land. And, and I, what I think is interesting is I do think land fear might have the potential to beat land, whether or not Liana did. So like if land beat Liana, I actually think Lanfear might have beaten Lan. Yeah, no, that's so. That's, I'm like, that's, that's kind of very tight. Yeah. Granted, mm. this cup this year has shown me I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, and I could be totally wrong. I assumed going in whether or not I'm right, Liana beat Lan. I assumed that that would be what would happen. I don't know if I'm right. <laughs> I do actually know if I'm right, but I will <laughs> tell you that. But, I, oh, no, I, Eve, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I yeah. assume that Land would have won, even though I'm not voting for him because he reminds me of my dad. So Which is a completely valid reason to not Liana, vote. But I think. Yeah, that. yeah, I, I I would assume just like, a, like who would have? I think I would vote for Liana because women. Um, I did vote for Liana <laughs> because it's liana mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. but i'm not surprised that land won one we don't know yet i would no, not be surprised yet. i would yeah. not be surprised if land won uh, because yeah, be he is aragorn and like that is gonna do it for a lot of people i'm curious i know we've got 30 people watching i'm curious who you all voted for or would have voted for if you missed it but Land did win mm -hmm. and became our first hero of the male hero of the horny. Yay. So now we have gender equality in the Grinwell Cup. Yeah. It's a one to three ratio. It's, it's a one to three <laughs> ratio. <laughs> but who knows? I mean, next year, I'm thinking about this already, of course, because this is my favorite stupid thing. And I'm like, I do think, because I said this year, I was like, I think it's Land Fears to lose. But my upset contenders are Liana, Aludra, and Dark Horse Lan. I'm like, I think there is a possibility that Lan makes it to that. Granted, that's four people. That's a lot of people to use as a winner pick. Mm -hmm. But I was like, Lan Fear for me is the most obvious. But I was like, but sometimes the most obvious people kind of, they, they don't show up for them in the same way. Because they assume they go, they're going to win. So they get excited yeah. about the second option. Yeah, right. and I like to vote contrarian. Like, and there are a lot of people in the who, early rounds. Yeah, and there are a lot of people <laughs> who don't want to vote for villains, and I see that happen a lot. So, you know, but I do think next year, I feel like if I'm going to pick, like who I think is going to make it to the end and who's going to win, I think Aludra, Liana, Lanfear, some combination of those three will be in the finals next year. Well, yeah. Depending. I mean if the land pattern holds, then Liana will be back to take her crown next year. Yeah. I mean, you know, if we're, if we're it's just every year we're going to like, it's the, the winner is the person who lost the finals last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what mm -hmm. we've got for the past two years. Yeah. Um, but land, land, land shattered the glass blanket. Yeah. Glass the sheet. The glass, the glass cup. The, is it the a glass, glass ceiling? Cup. Yeah, like there you go. The glass cup. <laughs> So we're kind of, we're happy for him about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think, I don't know. I feel like people are so passionate about Aludra and I was actually kind of thinking maybe she might beat Lanfear. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I can see her Aludra. winning. Liana, people love, but this is my thing. People are like side characters can't win. I'm like, look how close Liana got. Like Aludra got super close. Mm -hmm. Like these mm -hmm. are not. Now, I'm like, betting on Matt was out round one, round one. Matt was like, out round sure. one. It all kind of also depends on who you're matched up with because Matt had an objectively bad match in the first. Ooh, thing. Who was Matt matched with? Landfear. Oh, and oh yeah. that's that's tough. Yeah, and Moraine. So I was like, Ugh. yeah, I was like, this is the mean round of the first because I gotta have one really good first round where like people get mad. Because that's the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting conditions. Yeah. Do not rest easy in the Grinwell Cup. 
No. Do not think that your faves will just make it to the end because they're your faves. You have to show up for them every time. We don't know who they could be pitted against. Uh, I do know, but you don't. And Gus knows because I tell him because I can't keep a secret from him. But so, yeah, <laughs> this is the thing is we've got we've got Lan being inaugurated into the Heroes of the Horn. Wait, hold on. Now we can do this for Lan. Yay, balloons for land. Yay for land. Yeah, We're all very happy for land. But it's been such a great year for the Grinwell Cup. I've had so much fun with everybody's explosive feelings and, you know, uh, the the triumphs and the disappointments and the rallying cries and the, the you know. memes. Like, the memes. The memes. Were incredible this year. Uh, uh, I especially loved the one of me in front of the house that was on fire. That was mm -hmm, particularly mm -hmm. funny to me. Um, but yeah, I, you know, uh, I got to 22 knives in the no show goggles warnings. Um, wow. So wow. History. Every time I warn somebody about the, about no show goggles, I add a knife to my warning. So I got up to 22, which was actually less than I thought. Mm -hmm. I would get to. So I was actually very pleased with how everybody did. And granted, you know, I'm, I, it's mostly people who are stumbling upon the Grinwell cup for the first time who are doing it. Mm -hmm. And usually if yeah. I think that they're first timer, I don't bust out the knives, but <laughs> for those of you who are baiting me into using knives, I see you. <laughs> yeah. And then there was the, there was the fun little side tangent. The first time Leanna came up where it was like, well, what if we're not voting for the actress, but for the costumes? Because Leanna's fucking costume. Oh, I mean, like, that is true. A whole character oh. unto themselves. But then I will then, also submit yeah. Lanfear's costumes. Oh, <laughs> no, no contest. No contest. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I think, I think, uh, I think her to Lyra and Riyadh outfit fundamentally changed me as a person. Well, okay. Okay. That, okay. That's fair. <gasps> That's fair. I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for participating in the Grinwell Cup. We can't wait to see you again next year with the ridiculousness that ensues. You know, we'll let y'all know whether it will be on Twitter or what. Uh, you know, there's definitely a conversation about whether or not we need to move platforms. But, uh, you know, because we did get a lot of bots. Mm, North Harbor and bio. A lot of North Harbor and bio. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, we'll, we'll see. But, you know, regardless of where we end up, we'll let everybody know in advance. But this was so much fun this year. And um, thanks for all keeping it lighthearted, fun, and like the Grinwell Cup we know and love. It's a, just a, a blessing every time to be able to do this. So, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, you for running it. I you put a lot of work energy. into like managing like all of it's that and then keeping up with all the you know yeah. the knives and the polls and putting them up in time and announcements yeah. and like so all you running around doing all that stuff. And we cool. had lots of fun. Like oh, we good. all got lots of entertainment out of it. So thank you for yeah. providing that joy for us. I do I do hope that it can be a fun thing to tide us over while waiting for new announcements to happen. So that that's a it's a it's a thrill to do. It's so fun. It is a lot of work, but like it's worth work do it. Work worth doing. <laughs> so thank you all so much for making it work worth doing. Um, because it's definitely a large part of it is uh how other people respond to it. Um, so thank you all so much. And it's just it's just it was a great year. We had so much fun and you know, congrats to Lan. Everyone seems yeah. pretty happy with it, with the result yeah. this year. He so. earned it. He earned, earned it. it. He earned it. He's been here before. He, we couldn't have him be a two-time loser. That would just no. be a bummer for him. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But maybe Leon and it'll be Liana's year next year. Maybe. Hopefully. Or we get our first villain in Lanfear. <gasps> that would be kind of fun. That could happen. Let that the campaigning start this start now. Follow hashtag Grinwell Cup for more news. For more news. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this has been Wheel Takes. We have also got a radio from Wild Spoilers. And Tree occasionally comes on Way of the Leaf. And also has art that you can look up.
Sometimes. Sometimes. So thank you all so much. <laughs> Have a great rest of your uh, everything until next year. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And I'm going to hit and, and stream this time instead Ooh. of leave studio. That's what's going nice. to happen. I believe in you. It's nice. <laughs>